Hey, what's up guys? It's Atlas here, bringing you a video on Wonderland's Redux. Today we'll be looking at a fairly broken build. Uh, just want to show off the gear we're using here. So for, for a shield, you can use really anything you want. Shield doesn't really matter. Uh, but for your class mod, I am currently running Stabomancer and Spore Warden. Um, this is in no way a perfect role, but specifically the smart armor increasing critical hit damage by 50%, and this will be important for later on. And obviously gun damage rings, a gun damage necklace, which again is in no way perfect, but does the job. The Universal Soldier actually is interesting for the build that we're using. The melee damage returning ammo is particularly important to take note of here. And then for me, Rising Twister is about the best thing that I found works with this for now. Um, enchantments, you really just need the 15% movement speed and reload speed for 5 seconds enchant on any piece of gear. Let me know in the comments if these things stack. I don't know if they do or not. So if putting them on a shield and the weapon as well would help, be greatly appreciated to know that. <laughs> and then for the skills, we are going for a speed-based build, which will increase damage as we move faster and buffing up our gun damage and crit damage. Now that is the important thing to take note of here. We are increasing as much damage as we can with speed and crits. As you can see, all the crit damage things are increased and this new skill, the Stalker, which comes with Wonderland's Redux and the Critical Ascension, which further will boost your crit damage by 50%. It's absolutely insane. Executionless Blade is also particularly broken for the donkey, as I have just discovered, and I will show you why, and the uh, gluttony. And for Spore Warden, just increasing our gun damage, gun critical hit chance, move speed, and then the quiver of holding the ammo region and crit hit areas, increasing damage. You can probably switch out the bullseye for any of the other skills in Spore Wooden Tree, it just depends on what kind of build you're going for. And then in Hero Stats, we have maxed out our Critical Power and Critical Luck, and put the rest of the points into Skill Recovery. Now again, I do not have the most optimized build for this. But you shall see, in just a moment, just why this build in particular is absolutely busted. Oh, and for our class skill, uh, class action skill, we're using from the shadows, obviously. So, uh, ju just take a look at this. absolutely disgusting amounts of damage. And then Death... Death Rattler... Death... Gone. Just absolutely annihilated. What's this? Uh... No. And... No. Uh... Let's go with this. Now... As I have discovered... Uh, the donkey here, quite overpowered, mixing it with Executioner's Blade. This is on Chaos 8 by the way, I haven't gone all the way, and you could indeed make this build even better by simply adding in a Pearl Essence. I haven't got my hands on any pearls yet, but this should just, uh, you know, This will be over real quick. 
Because as you know, every sword blade here increases melee damage. And with Executioner's Blade, this thing is going to constantly regen its ammo and do increasing amounts of damage. It is an absolutely insane build. And then again, you have your gluttony to clear out all these enemies. And it's already over. And Goggle Snot is dead. <laughs> now, I'm, I don't know how this would perform on the higher Chaos levels, up to 10. Uh, but for Chaos 8, which is really way. You only really need to go to 8 to get the Pearl Essence and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty. You know, pretty okay build, I guess. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's just an okay build. You know, totally, totally nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. And dead. Obviously getting those crits and the execution of blades to even trigger it in the first place is absolutely amazing. And you can get them to trigger, you do some insane amounts of damage. But uh, I'll, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the gluttony as well, this thing can put in some serious work, specifically for bosses. Now, I don't know also if the bug for Chaos Health that's been going around is lowered and it should be higher, or if the health should be lower when it's too high. Uh, we'll see what boss we get out if we get lucky. I think this is going to be the chance. Nope, it's the blasted, but. You'll see quite quickly. This thing will absolutely shred through his health, and he is now dead. An absolutely, truly disgusting build that utilizes the Executioner's Blade and some pretty broken mechanics, including the buff to crit damage, to shred through everything. Now that I'm sure there's probably some other guns you could probably also use with this build, but these are the ones that I found work best. Also, the Thunder Fury works like a charm with this build. So, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. Again, feel free to play about with this. Let me know if there's anything else that can be done to make this build better. And I will see you guys in the next video.